All right, guys. I have not been looking forward to this video for quite some time now. I'm a little congested, I apologize. Unfortunately, I do not have some awesome announcement or really anything exciting at all. Actually, today's video is really disappointing and upsetting for me for many different reasons. I think everybody our entire company is upset. Uh, it's a really unfortunate situation, so I'm just gonna jump into it and talk to you guys about it, and hopefully it makes sense. 100 Thieves will not be a part of competitive Call of Duty next year. We will not be a part of the CDL. We will not have a team competing for our brand. And uh, I wouldn't say this is the end of my participation, 100 Thieves participation in Call of Duty, but we will not be fielding a roster. Uh, Activision has decided to franchise and uh, obviously there are a lot of costs that come with that, but we're gonna talk about everything so that hopefully this all makes sense. First off and foremost, I wanna say thank you to everyone. If you've been a part of Call of Duty in some way or another, just thank you. I've built my entire career off this incredible game and this incredible community and I have best friends that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life and I have stories and memories that will always live on whether that's in my mind in the videos that I made or the incredible productions that 100 Thieves put together with our team this year. Just so many accomplishments and so many moments that have just been an honor to be a part of. Uh, I, I love this game and I love this community and that's never going to change. Um, but the fact of the matter is the CDL is incredibly expensive. It's so expensive. And not only are there a lot of upfront costs, but there are a ton of operational costs that we'll be spending money on and resources on for years. And we are just not equipped and not prepared to make that jump and, and to make that decision to be all in. We just can't be. There are so many things that 100 Thieves is focused on as a company. I mean, I think we're up to like 30 full-time employees now. We have a ton of part-time employees tons of contractors, we have content creators, we have other players and coaches, we have so many different assets that we have to protect, and so many people's careers and lives that we have to continue to be a part of and help support them so they can help support 100 Thieves. We're not just focused on esports, although we do have League of Legends teams and we have Fortnite players and we're gonna expand into other titles this year, but we're an entertainment company that really focuses on storytelling and entertainment um, and then we have our apparel business, which is really what this company was founded upon and something that I'm truly passionate about. And I know a lot of people at our company are too. And so we have so many different investments and so much time and so many resources that be, need to be invested into these things that for us to make such a costly investment into Call of Duty would possibly jeopardize really everything that this company has been building over the last year and a half and two years for me. So it's... It's just a risk that we can't take right now. Uh, what I need you guys to understand is that we're a startup. You know, obviously we've made a ton of progress and we've accomplished many things, but we're still a new company. And uh, to make a financial commitment as large as this just is impossible for us right now. The second thing that I would say is 100 Thieves is our brand. I mean, people have poured their blood, sweat, and tears into 100 Thieves. And with the CDL, it's a very good possibility that 100 Thieves would cease to exist in the way that we want it to. Our branding and our persona and our identity is the lifeblood of, of, of this company. And we want, to straight, we want to stay true to that. And we want that to be what we represent. And uh, I just don't think it'd be possible with the CDL. And so there are so many things that we're focused on, but 100 Thieves at the end of the day is number one priority, obviously, the brand itself. I mean, I have it etched on my skin. And for us not to be able to represent that fully, it, it just doesn't make sense for me. It doesn't make sense for us. So I can't be a part of it. We're not prepared to find a city either. We're not prepared to put our flag in one place and say, this is our home. This is a worldwide brand. It's an all-encompassing brand. It's something that 
I want everyone to feel like they're a part of it in more ways than one. And picking a city and building out a local operational team and I mean, I can talk about that for a very long time, but there are just so many different variables that bake into city-based franchising that we just do not have the resources to commit to it. I mean, if we pulled together everything we had, I'm sure we could pull it off. I really believe in our staff and I believe in the people making decisions here, but it would just be an undertaking that we cannot take a risk on and we cannot go all in on. I, I'm just bummed. I mean, there's so many different things at play here. There's so many different scenarios. We thought about this and debated it and, and ran through different financial models and ran through different scenarios so many different times. And some of the smartest people in esports with our entire company, with our board, with our investors. This is not a decision that came without a heavy heart. We debated this for so long. And uh, you guys know how much I love this game. But at the end of the day, there's just too many careers and too much money and, and too much passion at stake for it to possibly all go down the drain because of one decision. I just want to say thank you to our players. You guys gave us in a year, you guys gave us a year that I will never forget. Major champions back to back, runners up at the world championships. You guys put your entire careers on the line to take a risk on an organization that had not existed in this community prior to last year when you signed with our team. And for that, I will always appreciate you and I will always say thank you. And we're gonna be friends for the rest of our lives. And, I, and I'm gonna support you guys in any way that I can and help you guys any way I can. But I know you guys are gonna do great things and we've talked personally and so you guys know what the deal is. I don't even need to say any more. But to our fans and our supporters that bought our apparel, that were in the Twitch chats, that were commenting on YouTube, that were at the events, that went to our pop-up, that cheered us on with everything that you had, thank you. Because that meant more to me than you'll ever know, and it meant more probably to our employees at our company than you'll ever see. Our production, our production team did an incredible job with 0 to 100 and told that story. And if you guys want, go catch up on it, because it was just an incredible year. I don't think words do what this team accomplished for us justice. Just thank you. To wrap this up, guys, I hope you can tell by the way that I'm speaking about all these things, I'm just bummed. I'm sad. I'm upset. And this is going to sting for a very long time. And uh, hopefully you guys understand why we made this decision, understand my line of thinking and why this is playing out the way that it is. But it's just a shitty situation, man. There's no other way to put it. So thank you guys for listening and I hope you guys have a Fantastic day. Best of luck to the Call of Duty community. I, I, I doubt this will be the last time you hear about 100 Thieves or see my face. You guys know that. So just thank you. Hope you guys have a good one.